Hi friends, welcome to the beginning of the Camp Starlight vlog. So last year um, I did a little vlog about my time at camp and I'm really excited to do one this year. It's such a fun annual tradition. Um, I feel like this year, every year is better than the last and this year the weather, the forecast is cold. She's dreary and um, so we got to pack lots of mitts, we got to pack lots of goodies and so I'm actually leaving today, like camp starts today. Have I packed anything? No. Do I have an internal list going, running in my head? Absolutely. Um, so let's get packing. Um, I have to start with clothes because I might have to do a load of laundry before I leave. It's a hot mess. It's fine. We'll get there. And when we get there, it's going to feel so good. So <laughs> I've got to pack clothes, got to pack toiletries, got to camp, plat, that got to pack all my camping essentials, which is mostly um, sleeping pad, sleeping bag, tent, chair. Easy peasy. And then I got to pack filming equipment, knitting shit, and I think that's it. Oh, and also I'm selling yarn, so I have to have to pack stuff to sell. You know, easy, easy peasy. I have I wanted to leave at 1, but it's currently 11, so I think we're probably going to be aiming closer to 2 or 3. That's okay. We're in good spirits. We're chilling. Um, so let's start. Let's start. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god. I am so sweaty. but. Um, somehow the car is packed. I don't know how I did it. I thought I would be like, oh, cutesy, like I'll show you everything that's in my bag, but um, it was a cluster. <laughs> it was very drama. So I stopped um, to get some snacks, a little seltzer, uh, some of these like ginger molasses cookies that I love, some boo chips, cute, and dark chocolate peanut butter cups. I don't know where those are. So got myself a little coffee, some caffeine, some fuel, and um, like not gas, but like actually fuel for my body. <laughs> and uh, it's about a 45 minute drive. It's really pretty. So I'm going to put some music on, drive out there. And then when I arrive, hopefully I can actually record me setting my stuff up because I, you know, we're in the car. Everything's good. We're on our way. <laughs> I don't know why it's always so chaotic getting out of the house, but yeah, I brought a lot of stuff with me, so, so yeah, okay, let's go. This is my third year attending Camp Starlight, which is hosted by Starlight Knitting Society, the local yarn store that I work for in Portland, Oregon. What I love about Camp Starlight is that there are different options that you can choose from. If you're one of the first to sign up, you might be able to snag a yurt or sidewall tent, and you also have the option of opting in or out of classes. All options do include three meals a day. For the last two years, I opted for a tent space and I opted out of classes. It's really one of my favorite weekends of the year to spend time outdoors with fiber friends and I'm really excited to be able to share it with you. After getting my tent set up, I made my way over to the pavilion where we have a bunch of tables and chairs set up. Everyone brings snacks to share, drinks to share, and I found a cozy little spot to start knitting and chatting with friends. We ate dinner and then we got a tour of Vernonia Springs from Jeff, the owner. When he bought the property, it had been a you catch trout camping spot, 
but now has become an event destination. They host weddings, but we were actually their only event hosted this year. So we are very honored to be considered one of their favorites. Jeff has a background in permaculture, so all the landscaping is really beautiful and well thought out. One of my favorite parts of camp is the first night of camp. The last couple of years, there has been a burn ban, so we haven't been able to have an actual fire. But this year we were, and we spent the evening knitting, chatting, and drinking hot cocoa with maybe just a little bit of whiskey added in for good measure. Good morning. Um, today is the first full day of camp. And yeah, I had such a nice night. And it wasn't too cold. My sweater kept me very warm. I've gotten lots of compliments on it. And my favorite part of every camp is the morning where I get to drink coffee <laughs> and eat breakfast foods. <laughs> so yeah, just a nice relaxing day today. I'm gonna get dressed here and classes are about to start but I'm not taking classes so I think I'm gonna do some spinning and hang out and yeah thanks for being here thanks for watching <laughs> One of the things that I have been reflecting on in life in general, but especially at Knit Camp, has been community. As much as I love going to fiber festivals and I love seeing people there, I find that for myself, when we come together specifically around shopping, it makes it harder to spend time connecting with one another. Very intentionally speaking from the eye here, but having a space that is a retreat first and foremost has been instrumental in creating my own fiber community. And that was really cemented for me this year at camp and my experience. If you've been intimidated to attend a retreat or even go to your local knit night, I hope that this is a push for you to step out of your comfort zone because the magic that I have found in community is something I wish for everyone.
I want to note that these tarot cards read me for absolute filth. Let me talk about my tessellated vest for one second here. I truly underestimated how long it would take to knit this stitch pattern. Over the course of the entire weekend, I knit maybe two inches, maybe. I was also spinning, I was also talking, but she's taken me a while. Also, on Saturday, we started working on a crochet granny square blanket to gift to our hosts. So that's what Tim and I are working on here. There were different groups of people hanging out on the dock, around the little pond, in the garden. Everyone was just kind of booping around, myself included. It was actually pretty hot despite what our forecast was expected to be so i found myself in the shade just enjoying the scenery and making some progress on my projects and the night ended with a marketplace i was one of five vendors i brought my naturally dyed yarn stickers fiber bats and then we actually had some guests come in from town susan is the one who re-knit Tim's sheep camp. So she came and uh, hung out for the evening and we ate dinner, we had lasagna, and then we played bingo. And that was the end of the second and last full day of camp. And then comes the bittersweet last morning of camp. After the last breakfast and cup of coffee, we make sure to take some group photos. This year, we presented our host with the granny square blanket we'd worked on making over the last day and then pose for our group photo. It's a very important part of camp memories. <laughs> And then this year we did a second group photo for the folks who had knit the unofficial camp sweater of 2024, the Sheep Camp. I love how everyone chose different colors, but somehow they still all coordinate. <laughs> and then I took down my little tent site before packing up and heading home. Camp is always such a dream and it can be a little hard returning to everyday life, but I love that I have these videos to reflect back on. Happy camp. And I'll see you next year.